The global energy system will have to change more in the next two decades than it has done in the last five. This energy transition is underway, but how it will evolve will depend on many factors. Economic growth, customer choice, emerging technologies, and national policies, to name just a few. Now, energy transition and digitalization, although they happen at the same time, are not intrinsically connected. In theory, there could be digitalization without energy transition, and there could be energy transition without digitalization. Because they happen at the same time, they influence and shape each other. Three of the common ways in which we respond and live up to these challenges. Collaborating with others, building capability, and giving our customers choice. Let me start with collaborating with others. The system allows us to add value through much improved optimization decisions and much faster field development. We have to rely on each other's strengths with partners. The second common response to transition, and that is building capability. In energy transition, one way to bring capability into a company like Shell is to acquire startup companies. Startup companies often come with a highly entrepreneurial spirit and new innovative perspectives. We learn fast from their experiences and then can bring that into our own. Now, building in-house capability is also key, of course, in the digitalization trend. And there we've chosen to build more in-house capability rather than acquire it through startups. The third way of responding to these transitions, and that is giving our customers choice. We believe that how the energy transition will play out depends in large part on the choices that customers will make. The market, encouraged by the right government policies, will decide which particular cleaner energy solutions will thrive. And therefore, our opportunities is to put that decision-making in front of the customer and giving them a range of cleaner energy options to choose from and flexibility. Oh,